Hello, election season! You guys, it has been an absolutely fantastic month for renewable energy investments. I mean, it's been a fantastic year, but it's been an absolutely amazing month. Pretty much every single renewable energy stock we made a video on is up massively. Enphase, how is Enphase stock doing? All time high. Solar Edge, what about Solar Edge? All time high. What about Brookfield Renewable Corp? Up over $15 a share and at an all time high. First Solar, up over $20 a share. Next Terra, you guessed it, all time high. You get the point. Even when the overall market has a red day, these renewable energy stocks just can't seem to be stopped. Someone out there is loading up the boat with these puppies. The thing is, nothing fundamentally changed with these companies over the past months to cause these massive gains. It's blatantly obvious there can only be one explanation. Wall Street just declared Biden the winner of the 2020 election. And it's not like Wall Street has a hunch Biden will win. No, Wall Street is making massive bets on a Biden victory. They appear to be very, very confident in a W for Biden. We released a video just a bit over a week ago discussing renewable energy stocks to pick up before the election. Apparently, all of Wall Street saw the video because the stocks we covered have pretty much all dominated the market ever since. So what does all this mean? Well, I'm not a financial advisor, but I can still speculate that those of us who got in these stocks before the big surge are sitting pretty happy right about now. That's pretty much what we've been suggesting on this channel to do for months. But what about those of us who didn't build out our positions? And what if Trump pulls off the upset? Well, with these elevated prices, renewable energy stocks just got a lot more risky than they were just a few weeks ago. The higher the price, the steeper the fall. And if Trump gets the W, I would expect a rather swift and painful drop. On top of valuations, these stocks that pay dividends have seen their dividends shrink dramatically. For instance, Brookfield Renewable Corp., a company that I consider to be a yield co., has a dividend yield of just around 2.65%. I have never seen it this low. And even if Biden wins, have renewable energy stocks run too high too fast? In the short term, that is certainly more than possible. These stocks could already be pricing in years of growth. But for long-term investors with a 5-10 to 10 year time horizon, these companies could grow right into their current lofty valuations, assuming they remain market leaders in the meantime. But the longer one has to wait for a stock to grow into its valuation, the more uncertainty is introduced into each company's business model, and the more risky each stock pick becomes. Plus, whenever stocks experience gains like these, there is another risk that becomes more dangerous. I can pretty much guarantee that there's a number of short-term momentum players out there that are riding this wave and will look to take some of their short-term profits without blinking an eye. Everyone who follows this channel knows that I'm a renewable energy stock champion, but I also try to be a disciplined investor. So just be careful out there right now with these renewable energy stocks, especially if you just might decide to sell them over the next year or two. These stocks can be very volatile, and I'm hoping this election doesn't turn into a buy the hype and sell the news type of trap for the unwary. Personally, I have a very long-term investment horizon, so I may keep nibbling a tiny bit on selective stocks, but I don't think I'll be making too many substantial purchases into these kinds of valuation risks. Let me know in that comment section below, do you think the market is right in pricing in a Biden victory? Or do you think Trump will win the election? Are you thinking about buying renewable energy stocks right now in anticipation of decades of renewable energy growth? Or are you hoping for a better entry point? I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing for more renewable energy and electric vehicle content if you have not already. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.